Welcome to Excel in a minute. Did you know that there is a lookup function that can still return a value regardless of the position of your lookup array? In this video, we will show you how important it is for a lookup function to be able to look up both ways. The xlookup function syntax has six arguments, where the first three are required and the other three are optional. The function searches a value from a lookup array and returns a value from a return array. Since these arrays are separate, the lookup array does not need to be on the left side of the return array for vertical lookup or at the upper side of the return array for horizontal lookup. Let's have an example for a vertical lookup using this data. Suppose you want to confirm an employee's identity given their last name and display their ID number and position. First select cell B20. This is where the employee's ID number will appear. Input the X lookup formula with cell A20 as the reference for the lookup value. The lookup array is from cells B2 to B16, and the return array is from cells A2 to A16. If not found, the return value shall be last name not found. And for this example, we want to get the exact match and search from first to last. Press enter to get the result. Now for the employee's position, enter the same X lookup formula but the return array should be from F2 to F16. Here, the last name Sumner exists in the employee database and works as a nurse. Next, let's have an example on a horizontal lookup using this grade equivalence table. Suppose you want to get the 4.0 grade equivalent of the grade percentage of each student. In cell D7, input the X lookup formula with cell C7 as the lookup value reference. The lookup array will be from cell C3 to M3, and the return array will be from cell C2 to M2. Note that the lookup array and the return array should be absolute references so that these references will not change when the formula is copied to a different cell. For this example, we want to get the exact match or the next smaller number and search from first to last. Press enter to get the result then drag the fill handle down to cell D11 to copy complete the student table. You may now look up values without having the need to switch the columns or rows of your data just so the lookup array is at the leftmost or topmost of your table array. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.